Pinocchio! Pinocchio! My name is Ulimon Pokiak, but some of my classmates used to call me Fatty Legs. They called me that because a wicked nun forced me to wear a pair of red stockings that made my legs look enormous. But I put an end to it. How? Well, I'm going to let you in on a secret that I have kept for more than 60 years. The secret of how I made those stockings disappear. When, when I, was I was a young, young girl, girl outsiders, outsiders came flitting, flitting about, the about the north. They plucked us from our homes on the scattered islands of the Arctic Ocean, back to nests they called schools in Aklavik. Three times I had made the journey to Aklavik with my father across the open ocean to buy supplies. I was mesmerized by the spectacle of the strange dark cloaked nuns and the pale skinned priests who traveled across different oceans from far off lands. They held the key to the greatest of the outsiders' mysteries, reading. Guess How Much I Love You by Sam McBratney. The play is really about my gradual realization as a journalist that there is this huge story out there that has gone untold. I was schlepping around the world writing about a whole bunch of other things, climate, and I happened on a scientist who said to me, you know what, you're missing the big story. The big story is the ocean. And I just launched into trying to figure out what humans are doing to the ocean all around the world. And then I wrote a book about it, and then I started to give a bunch of talks about it, and Ravi and Franco heard me give a talk, and then asked me if I could turn that into a play. So working with them, I've, I've done that. And it's been, it's been one of the most remarkably emotional experiences of my life. This is a, a totally unlikely project. You know, there's, there's no reason on earth this should ever have come to be. It, you know, it's just <laughs> completely counterintuitive. It was just a leap of faith from the beginning. And I've had these, these you know, moments of punctuated terror you know, ever since, but I, I have faith in Franco and in Ravi and I and this process. My father is a scientist and my mother is a painter and so I grew up in this household where both of those were cherished and, and in my career you know for, for decades now I have tried to marry the two disciplines. So in taking all of that scientific information and presenting it in you know what we hope will be an understandable way to an audience through a theater production is uh, it's a live stream. stalled out and sitting empty on some highway and if in some way we are don't worry we only got out to walk and get gas we are graduating members from the class of we made it not the 
faded echoes of voices crying out names will never hurt me. Of course, they did. But our lives will only ever always continue to be a balancing act that has less to do with pain and more to do with beauty. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. I'm not afraid of the deep, dark wood! All right. What exactly would we be having for lunch? Lamb, chicken, and don't forget mouse. Right. It's terribly kind of you, Fox, but no. Huh? I'm going to have lunch with the... Get, 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 Get out of my dump, you little punks! Get out! Split backpacks, quick! No! Dog's back here! Key disease! Get out! Not going! System post signs say this dump open! We here for trades. You mutants leave when dump opens. Listen to you talk. 
What an abomination of the English language. Speak no in old ways, no time. You know why he's sorry, Strider? No, Mook. Watch his power. He pulling us in with his words. He tricked us with feelings. Truth! 